Hey there, everyone. I'm JJ Ramberg, and we've got the top two tips you need to know to help your small business grow. This is a special segment just for Open Forum. Let's introduce our panel and get their advice. David Kidder is the co-founder of Bionic, an enterprise accelerator platform. He's an investor as well. And Celeste Hilling is the founder and CEO of the skincare company Skin Authority. Great to see both of you guys. Let's All right, see. Dave, let's yep. start with you. One piece of advice for the audience. Well, this is common in the venture capital world, uh, not so much in small business, which is build a painkiller and not a vitamin. Yep. Which is, you got to create something that deals with chronic, lifelong, growing pain in your customer. So if you're wondering why my customers aren't repeat buying or why they come to me in sort of a transient way, it's probably because you haven't obsessed over enough over, am I dealing with a chronic pain and solving it every single day? So once you get there, things grow fast. You know what's interesting about that too is oftentimes you are solving that pain, but you're marketing it incorrectly. You're marketing yes. it sort of as a vitamin instead of yeah. a painkiller. Yeah, you need to develop an obsession around this. I mean, this is, I've had many entrepreneurs, in fact, one speak last week, who just talked about, he's just excavated this question around like, what is the pain I'm trying to solve? He sat with them, he lived in their offices, and he kind of stalked them until he figured out like, ah, it, they couldn't even describe what they were doing that was painful, he just had to observe it. So if they aren't telling you, it might be something you have to observe first person. It's like roll up your sleeves, get back to the shop, floor, get with those customers until you actually see what the pain is so you can know what to build. Yeah, and once you solve your problem, then, you know, that you'll... It feels great. I mean, there's a, definitely a transition from, like, sort of, like, wishful thinking to, like, being certain. And then you're invaluable to them. Yes, right. Well. Very, Very true. Valuable. Okay, Celeste. So I think once you decide what it is that's unique about your proposition or the painkiller, so to speak, it's also about understanding how to really manage cash flow. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, you always want to be able to have enough cash to get you to the place where you can invest in building that, to, that whole idea to be the amazing potential that it can be. So I think it's about always having a plan B for small businesses and making sure that you truly aren't always planning on best case, that you're really planning with what if we don't generate revenue for X amount of months, and what if the best deal doesn't land in our plate with the number one customer. I think really making sure that you have cash flow backup planning is one of the most important things and, and always looking at what could go wrong so that you're prepared. While you're being optimistic and passionate, it's important to make sure that you can fund the right people, the right messaging, and really give your, your, t your whole idea time to incubate. Yeah, you know, Celeste, I can't tell you how many businesses we spoke to in, you know, 2008, 2009, really good businesses that just had to shut their doors because they didn't have enough cash to get them through the hard time. So that's great advice. Thanks, you guys. Great to see both of you.